I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and I've been using this smartphone for two days straight. If you're an American, this behemoth is probably alien to you, just like pretty much every other smartphone from this Chinese manufacturer. Can very long battery life and a very low price tag finally make the name Huawei mean something to U.S. buyers? Let's find out in our video review of the Ascendmate 2 4G LTE. Yeah, that's a mouthful of a title, but anything less would seem somehow inadequate for a beast like this. At 202 grams, it masses more than almost any other device in its class, and its footprint makes every other smartphone look puny by comparison. What's more, none of its hardware features have been scaled up, which amplifies its perceived size. The tiny camera lens sits adrift in an endless expanse of textured soft touch. The micro USB port looks infinitesimal on the wide strip of glossy plastic along the bottom. One-handed use is basically impossible. Still, Huawei uses the extra acreage to its advantage. The device is relatively slender for its size at 9.5 millimeters, with a removable cover that grants access to the micro SD card and SIM slot and the front side is dominated by an IPS display that takes up almost 80% of the face, with nice color saturation, fair viewing angles, and a very bright backlight. And like everything else on the phone, the screen is huge at 6.1 inches. Yet for all its size, the Ascendmate 2 is not so beastly on the spec sheet. With this phablet, it's more size of the boat than motion of the ocean. The Snapdragon 600 is good, but not top of the line. The display is only 720p, which at 6 inches isn't the sharpest, and both onboard and extendable storage is on the low side. This isn't so much a flagship smartphone as it is an oversized mid-ranger. That's true in software, too, with a slightly dated Android 4.3 sitting under Huawei's Emotion UI, which is a mixed bag. Of course, aesthetics are subjective, but to our eye, the rounded corners and bland colors lend the phone an almost infantile feel. There are typeface spacing issues in folders, and in designing its widgets, the company seems to have forgotten that it's built a 6-inch phone here. Look at the FM radio widget, it's huge, for no apparent reason. Same for the clock, which is so big it can't even be centered on the screen. And this isn't Huawei's fault, but so many Android apps still can't properly take advantage of a screen as large as this. On the brighter side, the big canvas doesn't totally go to waste. The WOW button sits in a corner of your choosing, giving you one-touch access to navigation keys and popover apps. Gesture-based motion controls are available, and so is an easy mode for those who want an idiot-proof experience on a huge screen. There are also really nice touches here and there. Anytime you get an alert from a newly installed app, the phone lets you choose right in the notification shade whether you want the app to be allowed to send you notifications. And there's all kinds of optimization tools. If you're worried about what apps are using too much data, there's a whole section for that. A phone manager gives you automatic cleanup for memory, storage, and a block list for harassing messages or calls. But the most powerful customization goes to the core of this device. The Ascendmate 2 is all about endurance. This phone guards its battery more jealously than any other. Every so often, you'll get a notification that a certain app is using too much juice. You're given the option to shut that app down right away. The Power Saving Hub gives you three distinct usage plans, and also a monitoring screen with a list of issues you can optimize. You'd expect all this from a device with a tiny power pack, but with a 3900 milliamp hour reservoir, this phone is basically all battery. To put that in perspective, it's basically the same capacity as Google's Nexus 7 tablet. It's so big, in fact, that Huawei expects you to spread the wealth. Plug in a micro B cable and you can charge other devices from your phone. If instead you keep all that power to yourself, you'll be using your phone for days. With moderate to heavy use, including mobile hotspot and a fair amount of Netflix, we got 44 hours of use on our first charge with eight and a half hours of screen on time. That kind of endurance on a smartphone is almost unheard of and the company deserves real credit for that achievement. It set out to create a phone that would last a weekend on a single charge, and even if its solution is inelegant, it succeeded. Elsewhere, performance is more middle of the road. This version of the Ascendmate 2 is compatible with both AT&T and T-Mobile, and preloaded with those carriers' APNs. It's unlocked out of the box, 
and our testing on AT&T went well in Greater Boston and New York City over both data and voice connections. It's mighty awkward talking on a device as large as this, though, and the noise cancellation is nothing special, so you won't miss much by opting for a headset instead. Fortunately, this speakerphone, though located back aft, is large and plenty loud for gaming, which gives us no trouble with most titles, by the way. And also for media playback, though it's a touch softer with Netflix. Finally, there's that 13 megapixel 1080p camera. We've got more samples and a video reel in the full review at pocketnow.com, but this shooter is safely described as average in good lighting and a little on the noisy side when the light's not so good. The viewfinder is bare bones, but you've got the usual offerings of HDR, panorama, and a handful of effects, and we do like how the software senses night shots and automatically brightens the image, though not enough to make this device a standout. Its real set-off is a 4cm macro mode, which won't blow your mind, but it does let you get closer to a subject than some other phones do. The camera up front is a 5 megapixel module with a wide-angle lens for selfies, or groofies, a term which will never catch on that describes group selfies. It's nothing we haven't seen before, but it works as advertised. We still have some concerns about the AscendMate 2 4G LTE, concerns which go beyond that lengthy brand name. There's no clear guarantee it'll ever get timely software updates, for one thing, and that's troubling. Also, for just a little more, you could get a Nexus 5 with a more powerful processor and the guarantee of long-term support directly from Google. But for $299 unlocked and contract-free, the AscendMate 2 is an outstanding value if you're looking for a smartphone that can double as a tablet and last for days on a single charge while it's at it. For Huawei, it may not be the blockbuster that'll stop Americans from wondering, who are they? But it's a good step in that direction. Be sure to read our full written review linked in the description below for more thoughts on the Ascend Mate 2, and check out our other Gigantophone coverage here on YouTube at these links. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.